Yo, what up? It's Tony Wiggins here with Locked On Jaguars. The running game. So important to be able to run the ball when you want to, when you have to. We'll talk about it today here on Locked On Jaguars. You are Locked On Jaguars, your daily Jacksonville Jaguars podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Thank you once again for joining me, Tony Wiggins here on the Locked On Jaguars podcast, where it's your team every day. And we thank you for making us your first listen with a little bit of reminder that wherever you get your podcast, we are free on all platforms. Make sure you tap in, like, and subscribe wherever you get your podcast. Today's show and today's episode of Locked On Jaguars is presented by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is daily fantasy made easy. Pick two to five players, and if they score more or less than their prize picks projection, you can win up to 10 times your money in your entry or on your entry. First-time users can receive a 100% instant deposit match of up to $100 with the promo code Locked On. That's prizepicks.com, promo code Locked On. What it do? I got playoff fever, I tell you that. That's what is going on with me. I got playoff fever here, like most of the people in the city. Can't wait for a little Jaguars Chargers action to happen this upcoming Saturday. But before then, we got a show to do. Today, we're going to talk about how we need a big game from Jaguars running back Travis Etienne in order to win. If we get a big game out of Etienne, we also have to make some stops, and that means stopping Austin Eckler who's a pass-catching machine and is also a tough runner in between the tackles. Uh, segment two, we'll talk about stopping that run. We'll talk about and speak on some of the offensive linemen that have to play a little bit above the X's and O's, and it's playoff, so everything ratchets up a little bit. We'll talk the importance of time of possession, time of possession, as well as preventing the Chargers from having uh, more and more opportunities to score. That That's the main thing you want. The main thing you want is you want their defense, you want their defense on the field more than their offense. So we'll make sure we get into all of those things, mix and match them and stretch them over three segments. I know it always seems cliche when you start talking to football people, and the first thing they want to talk about is they want to talk about stopping the run. You got to stop the run. You got to run when you want to, run when you have to, and stop them superstitious. And we have to stop the run every single play and can't let them get loose and got to control the clock. It all sounds cliche, right? <laughs> Until it all looks like the truth when you start watching the game and you can go back and see there were games where the Jaguars did not do a good job of staying on the field offensively. Therefore they lost. Then we saw some games where the Jaguars didn't do well with staying on the field offensively. Later on, they started doing it, and they came back to winning. So do I think that this game has to ebb and flow a certain way? There's no blueprint to beating Jacksonville, or there's no blueprint to Jacksonville winning because they won from every conceivable area that you can. They've come from behind. they won from ahead. They've been ahead to behind, and they won. This team just finds a way and figures it out. You would have to think, though, that, you can lean more towards those cliches, those things that we talked about in the past, in a playoff game. Because once you get in a playoff game, things get really, really tight and tense. I don't know if y'all know this, so I'm going to give you some breaking news here, right? Breaking news. If you lose in the playoffs, you don't get to play next week, right? So this is why I believe teams, coaches, Everything tightens up, and we're going to try to just run our best sets. We're going to make sure we, we are prepared to defend against our vulnerabilities, which is our worst sets, the things that the other people do for that. So when you hear someone like me come out and say it's a big game, Travis Etienne needs to run the ball, and the Jaguars need to stop the run, it's very easy to say, shut up. We hear that stuff all the time. It could not be more truthful this weekend. I want to see Justin Herbert. And all of those dudes, Mike Williams, 
I want to see him on the sideline. I don't see all these six foot six tight ends running across our formation all day. I just don't. I think that's bad. I think that if the Chargers have the ball for 33 minutes, the Jaguars are in trouble. Because that's more and more time that you're giving the other side more chances that you're giving them to score points and likely reestablish field position over and over again. So how do you do that? Well, part of it's on your defense, but part of it is also on how you play offense. I don't mind if they go throw, 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 as long as they score, 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 score. Because when you throw it around and you don't get any points or you end up getting field goals, that means that clock isn't running very often because the guy's running out of bounds and because of incompletions. Therefore, you lengthen the game. I don't want to lengthen the game. I want to shorten the game. So how do you do it? You look back there and you find number one, Travis Etienne. But here's a condition. He has to have ball security. We cannot go into this game not being able to depend on Travis Etienne to carry the football and to keep the football secure. Okay. You got to go into the game thinking that he's going to be able to do exactly what you need him to do from a ball security standpoint so you're not hesitant to give him the ball early and often. Why is it important that we do that? Is it just to keep the other offense off of the field? Nope. That's not the only reason. There are some other reasons. It's how it's based on how you want to or not allow the Chargers to play defense. See, we got all the way through the first segment, and I did not say uh, San Diego. I said the Chargers. It's about how you want to dictate how the Chargers play defense. I'm going to talk about that and why it's so important, why it's absolutely so important for Travis Etienne to have a good game, one that is void, devoid of errors also. I'll talk about it in just a second here on Locked on Jaguars. I have to tell you guys about today's sponsor, which is TurboTax. Go to TurboTax and don't do your taxes. You heard what I said. Meet with an expert who will do them for you. TurboTax experts can relieve you from the stress of taxes and file for you so you can do not taxes. Show your eyes things that are not taxes. Unpack a moving box of not taxes. Taste some not taxes. Sing not taxes a lullaby. Hope not taxes sleeps through the night and grab a saddle and ride no taxes until the sunset. You get the point. With TurboTax, an expert will do your taxes from start to finish, ensuring your taxes are done right so you can relax. And this is a guarantee. Feels good to be done with your eyes, doesn't it? And not actually with you doing it. Come to TurboTax and don't do your taxes. Visit TurboTax.com to learn more. Intuit TurboTax, full service products only, video meeting while expert does your taxes are required. See guarantee details at TurboTax.com slash guarantee. I have to let you know about today's sponsor. It is Ultimate Football GM. That's right. Ultimate football GM. Ultimate pro football GM. I'm going to tell you about it. First of all, I was on a plane going to and coming from D.C. Two-hour ride. I went through two seasons both ways as a GM. I got to learn how to make sure I pick people that don't just have high talent, but pick people that have like personalities or you will be finding and suspending guys every single week. I know because I've done it and you can do the same thing. So many of y'all spend so much time going back and forth with me about who a team should draft, whether or not I owe Trent Baalke an apology or whether or not you owe him an apology. 
So many people hit me up about this, man. I got to let you know that the ultimate football GM game is for you. You can hire the right coaches and coordinators, trade players, make draft picks, navigate your franchise through free agency and the draft and all the ups and downs of a season. Add your experience and talk about your team, which is the Jaguars. I always pick the Jaguars. On this game, they are the Jacksonville, Jacksonville Giants. Of course, that's cool because we have the Jacksonville Giants as a minor league basketball team here. So here's what I do, man. I just get on there and I pick my players and I try to uh, control the salary cap. And you can do the same thing because Locked On Jaguars listeners get a 100% free boost to their franchise when using the promo code Locked On. That's right. That's Locked On, one word, all caps. So make sure you check it out today. To download the game, just visit ultimate-gm.com or look it up on the app stores. That's ultimate-gm.com. Ultimate Football GM. Start your dynasty today. And start here with me on Locked On Jaguars every single day. Make us your first listen because it is your team every single day. I know you guys are anxious. Everyone's anxious about the game this Saturday night here at uh, in Jacksonville at TIA Bank Field. Wondering if it's going to duplicate everything we saw just last week. Don't know. I missed it. I wasn't there. But I don't know if it could be duplicated. What has to be duplicated is the uh, possibility of success. So you'll have a, a – yeah, we can talk all day until we're blue in the face about how important the running game is and – how um how important it is for you to stop the run but at the end of the day it also comes down to turnovers it comes down to turnovers it comes down to uh time of possession it comes down to all of, all of those cliche things in the playoffs all of those things have new meaning because generally the team that does all of those things that have become so cliche over the years the team that does all of those things like don't turn over the ball over don't turn the ball over control the clock they win team that scores touchdowns instead of field goals, they happen to win. I think one of the things that could really, really, really help Trevor Lawrence this week is if he could get the run game going. Because they get the run game going, that means they have more than one way to attack, obviously. But it also keeps it keeps those, those beasts that I call them in Joey Bosa, Khalil Mack, even up to this year, Kyle Van Noy has been able to get to a quarterback and he wasn't necessarily considered a pass rusher. But they're very active. They also bring blitzes. They blitz Darren, Darren James every now and then. And uh, I think you'll really help. You'll keep those corners. You'll keep Asante Samuel and those guys from paying too much attention and trying to jump routes because they know that if the, if the pass rush gets there quick, they can jump routes. The pass rush takes a few minutes, but a few extra seconds, not a few minutes, but a couple of extra seconds, that gives Trevor Lawrence to go to his checkdowns and his reads and find the mismatches mismatches in the coverage. It also helps play action. I know somebody will give me a stat that they'll show that play action doesn't – having a good running game doesn't actually help play action. There's some people that believe that because I guess the stats prove that teams that are successful at play action don't necessarily run the ball well. But teams do it for a reason, right? And if you're going to ask defensive players, especially linebackers and safety, uh, safeties, would you rather they not do it? They'll go, yeah, just go ahead and throw it or run it. But don't act like you're going to throw it because it makes my my job more difficult. So I don't know what the statistics necessarily point to in terms of it having a, a lot of impact on the game. But I think it has an impact mentally on the people that have to do all of the guarding and the covering uh, of these running backs uh, when it comes to trying to figure out and trying to understand uh, exactly what the coverage is and what the play is, I guarantee you they would rather folks not do it at all. So if they rather we not do it, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it because I'm going to do everything that gives the people a headache uh, or somebody a headache with what I don't – if they don't like it, I'm going to do it. That's what you kind of do to a, an enemy and – an adversary. I know something you'll like. Check this out. Today's show is sponsored by Prize Picks. That's right, PrizePicks.com. I'm gonna tell you right now exactly what you need to do. So, what is Prize Picks? So, Prize Picks is daily fantasy, 
where they have entries with player projections, how many yards, how many receptions, how many touchdowns, those types of things. And you have to decide whether you are going to say that person is going to get more or less than the prize pick projection or designation put on them. So all you got to do, man, is get that figured out. You can go. So tonight I'm going to say that, okay, if the prize picks is says that Kevin Durant scores 31, I think you'll get more than that. So I'll go, I'm going more. I think he'll score more. You do that with two to five players, two or more, you'll win up to 10 times your money. That's right. No competing against other people, just you and the projections available. Prize pick offers projections on any sport that you may be watching that they're playing right now. Interest can be made in 60 seconds or less. It's safe and fast withdrawals, currently operational in over 30 states and Canada. Download the Prize Picks app or go to prizepicks.com to sign up and play daily fantasy sports. First time users can receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100 with the promo code locked on. That's one word locked on. If you deposit 100, prize picks will give you 100. If you deposit 50, prize picks will give you $50. Don't forget to enter the promo code locked on and sign up for an instant deposit match of up to $100. All right, man, so you locked in here with me, making us your first listen. We definitely appreciate that because it's your team every day. Now, your second listen needs to be the Locked On Sports Today podcast, where you might see me sometimes. You saw I was there yesterday, Locked On Sports Today. It's 30 minutes of the biggest stories from around the world the world of sports, condensed down, all for you like a shot of espresso every single day. You hit it, boom, it gets you going all day. And you get the local experts telling you exactly what's going on from around the world of sports. Make sure you check it out. Make it your second listen wherever you get your podcast. I got a feeling whoever wins this game is going to win the turnover margin and they're going to win the battle of time of possession. Time of possession is critical because the easiest way, the easiest, most surefire way is to burn clock is to run the ball. The second easiest way is to complete short passes where the guys stay in bounds or complete passes where they stay in bounds. The third is, is if you're moving the ball, take the whole clock. Unless you're playing tempo, take the whole clock. Don't substitute, stand there, break the huddle, come out of the huddle, use the whole clock, and hike the ball. I'm not telling the Jaguars they need to play afraid. I am, however, saying that the Jaguars need to control the tempo of this game. One way to do that is to have success on the ground with Travis Etienne. Imagine if you can give the ball off every two times you give it off or hand it off, you score. And you use up 25 seconds of the clock every play. That means roughly about 50, 52 seconds or maybe more. If you use up 25 seconds in between each play and each play takes five or six seconds, that that would mean literally for every two plays it's one minute for every two plays you get 10 10 yards or 10 or 11 yards if you can do that for one minute you have a 70 yard drive right it'll take half the quarter and if you get some points three and out them and get it back and do the same thing the most frustrating thing would be them standing over there getting chilly on the North Florida night, knowing they need the ball back, knowing you have the lead, and knowing they can't stop you from running the ball. They can pass rush, but I want to test and see if they got any hind parts, if they got some sandbags. And I'm going to blast my running backs up the middle, on the outside. Once I get that going, then I'm going to hit some reverses to Jamal Agnew, some quick passes out, some slants. Those guys want to jump ball. How about some, some pump and go action to catch our guys down the field? To win this game, you're going to have to score points. But sometimes you have to throw jabs and body punches and not hooks and straight right hands. The jabs and the body punches is your running back. I play them. I play my running backs, make sure I get points because you have to be able to keep up but I would play my running backs if I'm Jacksonville. That's why I think the Jags need to have a big game from Travis Etienne. 
You have a big game and big day with me every single day and here on Locked on Jaguars. So I'm going to do this crossover with my man, my man from the Chargers, my man Dale, Dave, my boy. I'm going to do a, pro, a crossover, and we'll have that out for you. Uh, Locked on Jaguars, Locked on Chargers, Crosser. I think it's da Daniel Wade. I'm going to – um. No, it's not Drogi. Drogi won't be here. Yeah, it's me and me and me and Wade. So, uh, my bearded brother, we're gonna do a crossover for you. I'm gonna have that, and then Friday, it's all about biggest keys. I wanna I wanna do a segment on tailgating. I wanna find out what you're cooking for tailgate. I'm gonna do all of that stuff. So I'm gonna put that information out tomorrow for a hashtag. I want a hashtag what what's cooking. I wanna find out what's gonna be on these grills at tailgate. So give me an idea how, how you're going to feel once you get inside of the game Saturday night. Until then, you guys take care of each other. Make sure you lock in here on Locked On Jaguars with me. Until next time, I'm Tony Wiggins.